How's it going everyone? This is Scott Takai and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I lit this exterior day scene in the short film La Llorona. So in this scene we have a mother, daughter, and father outside in their backyard together. And this was the first setup of the day and we started shooting it around 8.30 or 9 a.m. And there's a lot of shade coverage in the backyard since the sun was on the opposite side of the house. And ideally when you're shooting day exteriors, try to set them up in the morning or before sunset because that's when you're going to get the most visually appealing lighting outdoors and it's not going to be so bright so it gives it just a little bit more extra control. Since the patio we were shooting on was covered up in shade, it gave me a good starting point for lighting the scene. Then next I set up my key light which was an Aperture 300D Mark II and I bounced the light onto the white side of a Westcott 5-in-1 reflector. And since we were shooting in a shaded patio in the morning, it helped with giving the bounce light more strength. And bouncing it onto the reflector helps give it a more natural and soft look that I use to replicate the natural sunlight. Next I wanted to add more contrast to the shot so I used a 4x4 solid floppy and placed it right next to the actors just slightly off of camera. When you're shooting outside there is light literally everywhere and we don't actually realize this but there's also light that's constantly bouncing off of all of the objects in your surrounding area. So placing a 4x4 next to the talent helps block off the light that is filling their face on the opposite side of the key. This gives the actor's face more shape, contrast, and a more moody feel. The last thing I did to add a final touch to the frame since I had some time is I used the Aperture 120D Mark II and I used it to backlight the little actress on the right. A 120D Mark II isn't the best light to use outdoors and even without modifiers and pointing it directly at the talent, it registers as very subtle. But subtlety is what I was going for for this backlight. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. There's plenty of content here on YouTube that you could be watching so I'm very very grateful that you chose to watch mine all the way through. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what was your favorite thing about this lighting setup and let me know if you learned anything new from this. And have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.